U.S. Ambassador to Israel. Ambassador David Friedman is a lawyer who once helped Donald Trump out of a financial jam involving some bankrupt casinos Trump owned in New Jersey. He's also an ardent Zionist who has raised millions of dollars as head of American Friends of Beit El, a Jewish settlement built on Palestinian-owned land close to Ramallah. The support is very important for us um, because it, it gives the international um, legitimacy and international uh, feeling that what we are doing here is important. Friedman has given so much money to Bet El over the years that his name can be found all over the settlement, marking the walls of its religious schools and other institutions, like this one. But while the building has Friedman's name on it, the property actually belongs to this man, Dia Abdel Fattah, from the Palestinian town of Dur al Qara. For 50 years, I've not used my land. Even though there were grapevines, figs, and fruit trees, they built on top of it. Abdel Fattah can see Beit El from his balcony, but like all other Palestinian people living under Israeli occupation, he's forbidden to set foot in it. This land belongs to me, to my children and my grandchildren. I inherited it from my father. It would cause pain for anyone if someone takes over your land. It hurts. Dur el Kara's mayor, Basim Qasim, displayed maps of the town and the adjacent Jewish settlement. He says documents dating back to Ottoman times show that Beit El's land belongs to people in Dur al Qara. And he thinks Friedman is a poor choice for ambassador. This will reflect negatively on the U.S. It isn't constructive for the relationship between the American people and the Arab people. But Beit El settlers say Palestinians never really owned the land at all. The Jewish people uh, believe that all of the land of Israel belongs to the Jewish people and was promised to them in the Bible. Beit El's council has big plans to expand the settlement from six to 10,000 residents over the next five years. And with wealthy and well-connected Zionists like David Friedman behind them, there's little to stand in their way. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Beit El in the occupied West Bank.